Hello, little explorers. Today we're blasting off on a space adventure to learn about the amazing solar system. But before we begin, how many planets are there in the solar system? And is Pluto a planet? Let's find out. So buckle up, little astronauts. We're heading to the stars. The sun. The sun is our big, bright star. It keeps us warm and gives us light. Without the sun, plants, animals, and people could not live on Earth. Did you know the sun is so big that more than a million Earths could fit inside it? Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. It's very hot during the day and super cold at night. Mercury is small, only a little bigger than our moon. Venus. Venus is covered in thick clouds that trap heat, making it the hottest planet in our solar system. Scientists call Venus Earth's twin because they are almost the same size. Earth. Earth is our home. It's the only planet we know that has life. Oceans, forests, mountains, and animals make Earth very special. From space, Earth looks like a big blue marble. You, your family, and everyone you know live here on our beloved Earth. Earth has one and only moon that we call the moon. The moon. The moon is Earth's closest neighbor. It looks big in the sky, but it's much smaller than Earth. Astronauts have visited the moon, leaving footprints that will stay for millions of years because there's no wind to blow them away. Mars. Mars is called the red planet because of its rusty dust. Giant volcanoes and deep canyons make Mars exciting. Someday, people might live on Mars. Mars has two moons named Phobos and Deimos, but they are much smaller than our moon. Pop quiz. How many planets have we visited so far? You're right, little talent. We have seen four planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. These are called the inner planets because they are inside the asteroid belt. What is the asteroid belt? Asteroid belt. Between Mars and Jupiter is a zone full of rocks called the asteroid belt. These rocks, called asteroids, are leftovers from when the solar system was made. Here you can find rocks as tiny as pebbles and as big as mountains. Let's continue our voyage to the outer planets, Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. It's made of gas and has a giant storm called the Great Red Spot. The Great Red Spot is even bigger than Earth. Jupiter has 97 moons. Among them, the biggest ones are Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Saturn. Saturn is famous for its beautiful rings. The rings are made of ice and rocks. Saturn is so light that if there were a giant bathtub, it could float in water. Saturn has more moons than any other planet in the solar system. How many, you ask? 274 moons. Uranus. Uranus spins on its side like a rolling ball. It looks blue-green because of gases in its air. It's very, very cold there. Neptune. Neptune is the windiest planet in our solar system. Its winds blow faster than a jet plane. Neptune is also farthest from the sun. And that's all the eight planets in the solar system. How about Pluto? Where is our little Pluto? Well, Pluto is not called a planet anymore because it's too small. But don't be disappointed, little space explorers. Pluto belongs to the group of tiny planets we call the dwarf planets. 
Pluto is not lonely there. Pluto enjoys itself with its friends Ceres, Haumea, Makemake, and Eris. Wow! Astronaut, you did it! You traveled through the solar system and met planets big and small, rocky and gassy, hot and icy. The solar system is like one big family circling the sun. And guess what? You are part of it too.